Welcome to this month's episode of Off The Shelf, where we take some of the hottest and most requested items here at Predator Tackle HQ straight off the shelf and onto your screens. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Robbie Northman from Savage Gear and I'm here at Predator Tackle to do some fishing with the lads today. But before I head out, I'm going to show, run through some of my favourite lures from this season. And I think number one for me is a new release from Savage Gear and that's a new Savage Gear Minos. These are fantastic lures whether you're targeting bass or wrasse. They've got great action and the bodies are really easy to change thanks to the new Pro Peg system where you simply pull them off and peg them in. Fantastic lures, if you haven't given them a go in the salt, definitely give them a try. So the next product for me, keeping on the salt water trend, is the Gravity Stick Kit. Now these are designed by Mads Grossel and Henry Gilby and they're fantastic kits for people getting into bass fishing. Whether you're targeting estuaries or open coasts, they're brilliant lures. You get a mix of colours, weighted spikes, spare hooks and even rattles to give them a little bit of extra attraction. Definitely, if you want to get into bass fishing, these are your answer. Another great lure that I've been using a lot for the past few seasons is the 3D LB Roach Swim and Jerk. A Predator Tackle sell these in bulk so you can buy one unit or you can buy 20 units. But these are very versatile lures for fishing on drop shot and even small weedless rigging applications. They're a favourite of mine when it comes to tackling very clear still waters and canals. Absolutely amazing lures. There's some videos out there of me using these in the demo tank and I'd say over the years they've accounted for a lot of fish including an old PB. Something that's given me a real edge in my fishing over the last few years is rattles. Now we've had the glass ones for as long as I can remember but recently we bought out these steel rattles and much heavier and they've got a big steel bearing in that really clacks and clangs as you work the lure. Added to a tail, they'll totally change the action of the lure, moving from a dental pulse to a really wide swinging action. And, and definitely, I like to add these to uh, nearly all of my pike soft plastics, both as a weight and as a rattle. If you want to give your lures an edge, give the steely rattles a go. Point of focus. He's going to say, leave that in. He's going to say, leave that in. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Smells good. <laughs>